hello and welcome back guys today in this video we are going to learn about how to create dashboard in power bi in 30 minutes and let me show you first about the data set i'm going to show you the data set that is on covid 19 and this data set i have obtained from kaggle let me first show you the data set and how many rows and columns are present first we'll do the data cleaning then we will import this data into Power BI for the report generation. So let me quickly go back to our uh, data set and see about the what are the attributes and rows are present in the data set. So let me close this, minimize this and here are around 67 columns are present and around 166,326 rows are there. So let me first make a copy of this entire excel book name this data set as clean data so let me write it as underscore clean data and hit on save so it will take some moments to get it saved and right now i'll delete all the unnecessary columns using Control minus from the keyboard, control and space bar from our keyboard, and we'll remove it using control minus. So I'll do it all the unnecessary columns, and we are we want to make this data clean as much as possible. So this is one of the step that is called as data preparation, which is very much important and it takes and that it takes quite a while a time. Uh, to make this data clean so let me do this cleaning quickly so i'll remove this as well i'll remove so i'm going to remove this h65 folder and a couple of more columns i'm going to delete that all right i'll keep hand motion facility i'll delete this one this one this one okay yeah so i'll remove this one as well okay right now i have around eight columns so let me resize this i'll quickly save it right now uh, in this data we we have to go and check if there is any empty cells are also there or not so i'll quickly do a control a and i'll I'll apply a filter so to apply the filter I'll come back to this top row and I'll quickly do name changing like I'll do the relevant name I'll write it as country I'll write it as date capital D total cases I'll do total cases here I'll do the total death I'll make the P as capital median age I'll write it as median space age hand washing facility I'll write it as hand age and I'll remove the space sorry the underscore and make it F as capital and I'll make it as Y to make it hand washing facility so right now audit is present cleaned i'll go to the view i'll do the freeze pane freeze the top row and right now i'll apply the filter by using ctrl shift tail right now if i choose the blank from continent and if you come to the country there are the same continent has been repeated along with some additional name like low income low middle income high income and world so we are going to remove all this so i'll click ok and remove all the entire row right now we have done that and i'll remove the filter i'll go back to the population i'll come back to the population and before that i'll let me check total cases yeah okay 
I'll go back to the population and I'll see if there is blank value. If there is no population, then there won't be any cases and there won't be any dates. So I'll remove that. And let me remove the filter. Right now also you can see some of the blank value and that is fine because those are no confirmed cases like they got COVID negative results. So let me check that one. And right now, so you can see that there are a lot of empty cells are there so i'm going to select the, our entire data set and we are going to those null value of the empty empty cells as zero so let me select Control a from our keyboard so i'll remove the entire filter then we'll reapply the filter and i'll do a Control a to select our entire table so and right now i'll hit function if i from our keyboard and go to special i'll choose blank to select all the blank values and click ok right now it is calculating all the empty cells or having the blank values and we have to allow a few moments to calculate all or find out all those empty cells so I'll put zero and hit control enter from the keyboard and it will fill all the blank values with zero. Let me click from the menu bar and check if there is other values as well or not in the other columns. So there are no blank values over present present over there in one of the one of these columns. Right now, hand washing facility also got zero because there was few um, blank values. So right now, let me check this median age and select these zero values, and I'll uh, I'll highlight this with yellow color because we want to make this median age as average of entire uh, age because the infected people also might have some of the risk so uh, instead of zero zero age uh, i'm going to make this age value as average of the median age so for doing that i'll remove the zeros and i'll remove the filter right now i'll put average formula average and i'll come to the down from where our data is starts so I'll select the entire range and hit enter key. So right now, let me copy this and paste it over here. And it will take some moments to perform its analysis. I'll do the value list. Okay, right now I I will do a after point there is two decimals, so that is okay. And right now quickly uh, save this one and I'll, as we can see that the hand washing facility also zero so that that is fine right now let me import this data set into our power bi and that is present in archive one i'll choose the data set where the data is present we'll choose and click open right now it will asking for which sheet our data is present i'll click on load but before that i want to check the data set so I'll click on transform data and uh, just to check the data types are present or correctly it has been placed or not so it looks fine let me check it quickly yeah that is fine okay, right now we'll close and apply it will take few moments to get it loaded into the power bi right now we are in the report view if we click on the data view you can see our data is present so let me go back to our report view and we'll create the visuals right now i'll click any one of these stacked area chart or maybe any one of the other charts so i'll click on line chart 
and if I click on this arrow button it will expand our columns let me quickly drag this over here and I'll choose the total cases along with the country and this will give you visualization and if we expand this we can see the all the countries and their total cases so right now we can able to see that there are top five countries are present like united states india brazil france united kingdom so we'll select all the top five because we don't want all other countries so i'll write it as united choose united kingdom states i'll write india choose that i'll write it as brazil and i'll choose that click on it and i'll write it as france and i'll choose the france because i want only top five i'll quickly shift over here and i'll click another visual and in this case i'll write it as i'll take it as total death along with the country so in this case also we can go back to the quickly to the filter pane and instead of basic filtering we can choose top end because as we need only top five so i'll write it as five and i will choose the total days in the value apply filter it will give all top five countries and their tails so i'll shift over here and i'll bring another two more visuals of donut chart so in this donut chart i want to compare along with the tails with continent so previous were previously we have did for country now we are doing for continent so similarly we will be doing for cases so with continent and cases for same do not chart we do okay so right now as we can see that there are same legends are there for both the donuts and it is same and as you can see it has europe same color for both the chart and north america uh, same color so we are going to remove one of these legends and we are going to merge this together so since it is representing the same values so we remove that one of this legend i'll go to the format mission and turn off the legends i'll bring this one to the right and left to the right and i'll make together and click on both of these charts okay so i click on the page to create some more visuals i have clicked on the stack chart and choose total cases with total dates and this basically shows the out of the total cases how how many total dates are there and I'll click another visuals and choose the date and the total cases. So it will give a visual representation of what are the total cases over a period of time. As you can see, there are year is present. If you click on drill down, it will go back to the quarter. And further, if you drill down, it will go to the month. And if you further drill down, it will go to the day. If let me drill up and let me go back to the quarter till quarter and this is showing as quarter representation over a year so let me change to the area chart let me go back to the format visuals and we want to come down to apply the data levels i'll turn on so that the data levels will be visual visually appear there are grid lines also presented let me turn it off and if we come down further there are vertical vertical grid lines also present let me turn off that one as well so in this way we can remove all the grid lines so let me create some more visuals and we will be seeing this uh, india um, india cases and the death and let me check if there is hand washing facility in india during this covid 19 so i'll click on this bar chart to see 
what are the networking facility compared with india and the other uh, top 5 top 4 countries so i choose top like uh, like i'll write it as united so i choose united kingdom and united states i'll write it as india and i'll write it as brazil and france so I'll choose france first then brazil in this way we are going to compare the hand washing facility for all other four countries along with india so let me turn off these horizontal grid lines and as we can see that there are some hand washing facility action has been taken place in india compared to other countries so let me turn on this data table as we can see there are uh, plenty of hand washing facility it has been taken place in india right now, right now let me create another page and we'll create few more visuals i'll click on the table matrix and in this matrix we are going to see this hand washing facility along with country so let me arrange this data set like the top hand washing facility by which country so as you can see that Serbia, Thailand, Oman, Armenia they are the top countries who took initiation in hand washing facility let me compare their total cases and total deaths so as we don't want all those um, countries and only top 5 I choose top in as top 5 I put 5 and I put hand washing facility apply filter it will give only top 5 countries right now we'll do a visual representation uh, so let me do a, a, another visual re representation of this table to do that I'll copy this entire table click on this three dot we'll click one time click on copy we'll copy this visual and we'll paste it so to do the paste I'll use Control V from the keyboard right, right now let me drag this and change this into chart type so I'll click on this bar chart and as you can see that sum of hand versions there so I'll remove it I want to only compare along with the total cases and dates of this uh, country those who have taken the high hand washing facility so let me shift this and format this i'll click on report page and i'll click on canvas background so let me browse it from this i have already downloaded few of the images from the pixels so i'll come down i'll choose the image which will fill our background so in this case i'll put it as fit and choose the transparency as 50 percent so it will fill our background image to give more visually appealing similarly we'll do for other pages as well we'll click on format choose the image and choose the image fit and transparency as 50 percent so same thing we we'll do choose for the yeah, same thing we'll do for page one as well i'll choose browse i'll choose the picture i'll make it 50 percent and choose the images fit so right now we have to create a dashboard so i'll click another page and we'll copy some of the images from the all the three pages so let me copy these two donut charts along along this bar chart and we'll copy this by using ctrl c from the keyboard and come back to this page 4 and paste it over using ctrl c right now we can see that same visuals it has been appeared over here and let me group these two donut charts now so let's first do this bar chart we'll do some resize 
because we want to gather all the report or visuals in one page so let me quickly arrange all this let me group this two dollar chart let me make it adjacent and we'll click this two together right click group group to group it let me, right now it will move all together and let me just resize this let me resize and squeeze it to the left create moving let me bring this down right now let me go to the canvas background to another image to make it more nice so i click on fit and we choose as 50 percent transparency transparency and, and click this okay okay all right so let right now let me go to the page two and take some more visuals I'll copy this and come back to page 4 ok I'll pull up this filter button and we'll do a little bit formatting because we don't want all the countries we need only top five so i'll write use country's name for whom we want to see those and i'll write it as india and similarly for brazil and france so i'll quickly take their type their name to visually appear them on the dashboard yeah we're well done okay let me quickly remove or resize this one okay let me resize this one as well just a little bit we'll create a few rooms and let me resize this one as well i'll go to the page three and take this chart as well i'll copy this and I'll paste it over here in the page 4 and I'll, I'll bring it over here and try to fit on this dashboard as it looks like looks nice okay let me resize it a bit okay you can do this as per your wish how it looks more good as per your wish uh, it's nothing like that you can uh, make it as it looks nicer to the eye so let me put some cards so these cards will be giving the overall visualizations or the information from this data set so let me choose total cases and let me bring few more cards to add for total deaths and population so in this case i'll choose total deaths and let me resize this and we'll resize and make same with the previous card make the same resize and bring it down i'll resize it and use it to make it more meaningful let me create it in such a way so that it won't look so clumsy so i'll create another card and in this case i am going to take population like out of total population how much was the total cases how much was the death let me take for hand washing facility so out of total population in the world it was there all total around 3 million of units of hand washing facility so let me quickly resize this one as well and place it in good way let me um, take this one as well in this case we are going to copy this and place it over here in order to uh, make all the countries 
and it will let us create a sliding bar and it will give the information for all the countries we have so let me go to the filter pane and from this top end we'll go to the basic filter and from the selection bar we'll select all and it will give all the countries so you can see using this sliding bar and this way we can visually see that all the data are present so right now let us create a name for this dashboard we'll go to the insert or we can go to the home button and click on text box and here we can uh, we can write the COVID-19 and let me write a little bring this top and let me resize this and let me write inside as COVID-19 COVID dashboard and let me select all and I'll choose 24 as a size I'll do all the formatting and make it middle bold italic and underline I'll choose the color as red or we can choose more color I'll go to the more color and we choose little bit darker shade of the red and and we'll go to the effect to um, and I'll choose the choose the transparency as 50 and we'll click on shadow so it will give a little bit of 3d effect and it will collapse this format pane right now our data dashboard heading also it is ready so that's all like uh, we are able to see that our data is visually appeared in the dashboard let me collapse this filter and let me open this visualization and once again to a little bit more um, format i'll do the background as transparency as 50 percent i'll do few changes and app and do the format painter for all the picture so in this case i will go to the view I'll click on this custom current thing and go to the text to make the font size as 16 or 15. Let me make it as 15 and click on apply. And, and there is there is few more changes we will do. Uh, let me do the title as we want to increase its size to 15 points and make it bold. I'm going to make this in middle so I'll go down and come down and choose the middle and to come to the middle and we'll do a couple of more changes to make these visuals uh, more nice and yeah this is done so in in, in same way uh, we'll go to the axis of x axis and y axis to choose those visuals a uh, little bit visually appear more bold so I will go to the down in y axis choose title I choose or increase the size to 15 percent or 15 points and click on bold and let me yeah. let me collapse this title and in the same way we are going to do in the x-axis so i'll go to the top and click on this y-axis and click on x-axis same thing we'll do we'll click on title and we'll increase its point size and point size let it go to the 15 points and do the bold and let me click on the format painter and apply this format painter for all the visuals so you so don't have to repeat this entire process also to make the visuals transparent 50 percent transparent and apply this okay that's not working okay so let me I think yeah it's not working so let me copy any one of these visuals and click on 
format painter and apply the format painter in, in the rest of the visuals so let me click for all these cards as well Let me move the size quickly. Okay. Let me go to the format visuals and turn off the legends, one of these donuts. And let me go to the general and the title for his hand washing. And this is the representation of hand washing facility. And write it as hand washing facility and collapse this title and collapse these visualizations okay let me write it as dashboard and file name as covid19 dashboard or write it as report analysis report analysis dash dashboard Click on save. And our dashboard report is ready. So let me let me uh, like this dashboard is ready and let me collapse this all visuals, fields and filters and apply a theme to look it more nicer. Let me resize it to fit it. Uh, visually looks nicer in the as a dashboard so that's all for now if you like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel till then take care bye bye and i'll come up with new exciting video thank you so much bye bye